Welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. Today I'm going to be answering a fan question. I asked on Snapchat if you guys had any ideas about stuff I should film or if you had any specific questions and someone asked me, did you steal anything from the Bad Girl Club Mansion? And I thought, fuck, that is a very specific and awesome question because I stole a lot of shit. So if this is something you'd like to watch, please continue. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and leave me any comments. All right, let's get into it. First of all, I would like to say I'm not normally a uh, klepto maniac, but I definitely was in the Batgirl Clubhouse because there were certain things that there was only a certain amount of. Um, and when I officially left, I cleaned out everything that had the logo on it. Like literally I took uh, two flags, I took two, like two big flags. Like there was like a flag that was like a prop um, that said Bad Girls Club. I took those. I took uh, two gigantic pillows that had the logo on it on both sides. I took a bunch of jewelry that had the logo on it. It was all like crappy jewelry, so it's all like rusted and stuff. I still have a few pieces of the jewelry that I've never taken out of bags, but I know that as soon as I do, you know, they'd rust. Um, and that I did give away to some fans. I have done some fan giveaways with some of the bad girl memorabilia I had um, or have. I took champagne glasses that hopefully uh, are not destroyed because they're in my storage right now. And I was very worried about them because I don't think they're like the best material, but they had the Bad Girl logo on them. So I took, there was four of them in the house and I took all four of them uh, with me. What else did I take? I took, there was like jewelry organizers that, okay, so as soon as I got to the house, like as soon as I got to the mansion or within the first like day or two in the mansion, I went around the house and I collected things that I knew I would need. Like they had jewelry organizers um, like in the beauty room or something and I took those and brought those to my room and put those next to my bed so I could put all of my jewelry on them. And then I just went around collecting things I knew I would need for my room. Like I knew what, that I would need like for my wall or for my area. Um, and then when I left, I took a lot of that with me because I was like, you know, memories um, of stuff being there. I don't think what else I took. Um, I took the clothes that were on my mannequin that they had put on the mannequin for me. They made like a mannequin that resembled you. Um, so I took those clothes. I took, there was like jewelry and some other stuff that was laying around that I took. Um, what else? the jeweler oh and then they sent me some clothes that had the logos on them after that I still have and I'm trying to think what else what else um actually when I left the house everybody was in Key West and they were like you have like four hours to get out you know I really fucking cleaned like house like I took so much of my stuff like all of the food from the refrigerator I took all of it so no one else would take it like just took it like just took everything like every little thing that I, I was like so so beyond petty like I was like all of this is mine and all of this is mine and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take that <laughs> um so yeah I was like super petty at the end but really anything that had the bad girl logo on I took um, and I never asked for permission. I never asked anybody like, hey, can I take this? I just like took it um, because my feels was that if I didn't take it, somebody else was going to take it. And these were, you know, things that I, you know, was like a once in a lifetime opportunity, once in a lifetime thing. Um, and they're kind of like petty with the girls that they don't really like send them any merchandise. Like I remember Tanisha... Tanisha's phrase, um, y'all don't sleep because of me, I don't sleep because y'all, something like that. Um, 
are like, what is, what was Tanisha's like logo? Or was that Tanisha's thing? Or was it like, I know it was like pots and pans or whatever. I don't know. Um, Oxygen made a t-shirt with Tanisha's likeness. They either used a picture of her with the pots and pans or they used a phrase that she had said. I don't know. She, they had done something for Tanisha and Tanisha was like, do you know that they made a t-shirt and they were like selling a t-shirt with my logo on it or I forget what, exactly what it was but she was like they didn't even send me one of those t-shirts so they're like really you know they're like kind of weird so I specifically would like write them and be like hey can you send me this can you send me that you know and they normally would um and then I got the bad girl poster framed and that's probably like one of my favorite pieces because it's just really cool it's like you know how many people can say that they're on like you know a poster that was like you know I don't know it's just a very cool memory so I had called and asked them if I could get that and they were like yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess my advice if you ever are on a reality show um, if there's stuff with a logo on it that you want to keep get it because even if you don't want it you could always like do it in like a fan thing like I definitely did like fan things where I would um like I know I did a few for charity where I like auctioned off a piece of bad girl club jewelry but you know the jewelry was like really never very nice but I would also put like an autograph picture in it um also you know if you're ever on a reality show it's you know kind of like a once in a lifetime opportunity so you know take advantage of after I would definitely recommend like emailing people and getting people's contact information so you can be like hey I'm really interested in getting like this and this that are on the website do you think you could send them to me and people normally are pretty cool about that was there anything I wish I could have stole that I didn't it would have been pretty cool to have the world is yours like big statue <laughs> um, but actually wait I think we could destroy that so never mind um, Something I wish worked in the house that didn't work was the foosball table because I actually love foosball. It's like one of my favorite games. And they had cut the foosball people for some reason to like look, make them look like girls. And so the ball wouldn't work. Like the foosball people literally couldn't touch the ball, which was just the stupidest thing I have like ever. Like I was so infuriated when I saw that. Like I was like, what? Um, but if that had worked and if that had worked, I probably would have wanted that um, because I love foosball. It was really cool if they made them into girls. And it gave me a great idea. Like, in the future, I would love to have a foosball table and, like, customize all the players. But I would make them tall enough that they could hit the ball because that still irks me. All right, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, leave any comments, and subscribe if you have not. I'll talk to you later. Bye.